If you're looking to boost your Mutt team or make some money by selling coins, check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 17 video. Guys, today what you're taking a look at is a Draft Champions lineup. Um, I already did the draft a couple of days ago, so uh, this is just kind of giving you a quick lineup update before we get into the actual gameplay video. Uh, so we are going to be doing a gameplay today. Hopefully you guys will enjoy that. If you do enjoy this video, please be sure to drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you are new. With that said guys, let's hop into the game. And you know what's kind of crazy, guys, is I think this might actually be the first gameplay video that I've posted on the channel this year. But I promise you, I'm going to be putting out quite a few gameplay videos here over the next days and coming weeks here on the channel. I have a ton of gameplays actually recorded. Um, the lack of nano blitzing in this game has really helped me. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you that. I haven't really run into a whole lot of games where I haven't been able to score so that's made things a lot more fun for me, I guess. I, I don't know. I, I've been able to play this game a little bit more than I had uh, Madden 16 for sure. But I, I will say that there are some definite things that I'm not loving about the gameplay. But, you know, it is what it is. In this game, though, guys, we do have Emmett Smith and uh, DeMarco Murray. So kind of cool that we've got the Cowboys running back connection there. Obviously, Murray on the Titans now. Emmett Smith retired, of course. But it's kind of cool to have those guys. Both of them in their Cowboys uniforms on the cards as well because DeMarco was, of course, a flashback. So we're going to be utilizing those guys very, very heavily in this one. My opponent, though, kind of dotting me up on offense. Uh, he's definitely throwing the ball pretty effectively down the field here, but we get pressure on him there, make him force it into coverage. That should have probably been an interception. We just couldn't quite get there in time. My opponent's going to find his receiver here over the middle, though. Kind of dotting me up, like I said, four of six at this point. And he's going to try and run here on this play, but we are going to take him down in the backfield there. So we do force a fourth and three, and my opponent is actually going to be somewhat conservative here, and he's going to take his field goal. So this is going to be a seven to three game here as we are just about nearing the end of the first quarter, but I am going to have the ball here to start in the second quarter, and bam, we are getting things going here. DeMarco Murray off the edge, and he is off to the races, ladies and gentlemen. We get another huge run here, this time for a touchdown. Murray's got a little bit more speed than Emmett Smith, I think, or at least it felt like it, and uh, we're able to get things going there. Now, unfortunately there, I just dove at the ground like an idiot. For some reason, I have such a problem. Like, when I click in my right joystick, sometimes my player, like, dives at the ground. I don't know if it's, like that's intentional within the game or uh, or if it's just something that I'm doing wrong or what, but uh, kind of bothersome. Anyway, third and three there, my opponent did drop the pass, or at least he went straight out of bounds. I, I don't know what exactly what happened there, but uh, it did end up forcing him to punt there on fourth down. Again, he's playing pretty conservatively, but we are definitely not going to be conservative. Bombing it deep there to Jordy Nelson. It takes a crazy pinball animation in midair, and he does get an interception off of it. Kind of frustrating, but we're up 14-3 to here, so we definitely are in good shape here. And right here, we're going to force a fumble, but my ridiculous-ass defense just didn't land on it for some reason. So my opponent got the ball back, only lost a couple of yards there. Third and 11. Now we're going to send some more heat at him. Another big... Big hit off the edge, nearly got an interception or a fumble off of it, uh, but my opponents again did decide to punt the ball, so kind of surprising. Murray stepping out of bounds there. He had all kinds of room for some reason. That uh, run after the catch uh, animation just took him straight out of bounds, but we do convert there. Second and 10 now, a minute left in the first half, so we're trying to get the ball down the field. Mike Evans is going to make a big grab here. He gets a terrible animation with Champ Bailey. That is a legend. Uh, cornerback there getting toasted by Mike Evans and again here in man-to-man -man coverage Mike Evans is going to find the space there and get into the end zone so a nice nice play there for us at the end of the first half so we're up 21 to 3 heading into the second half my opponent now again Starting to throw the ball pretty efficiently down the field here. And he's going to convert here for another first down. So uh, he's at about midfield, pretty close to midfield here. Continuing to throw the ball. I'm really not worried about his running game whatsoever. But man, look at that throw. And we get another bad animation there trying to get a hit stick. And guy just kept on running right past him. So my opponent again driving down the field here. Finding another open man. And he is going to make a nice, nice pass there in the flat. Nearly breaks it for a touchdown. But... 
Couple of plays later, he is going to get into the end zone here. Look at this ridiculous animation. Come on, two guys there. That's the kind of thing that's a little bit frustrating for me in this game. Um, I don't understand why he got that type of an animation with a mediocre running back. I could get it if it was like Emmett Smith or, um, you know, Adrian Peterson or, you know, somebody with, with a legend card or somebody with at least a lot of strength, but I don't think that that's what that guy had. Anyway, Emmett Smith there breaking off some nice runs, and you can see our running game is working very, very effectively in this one. I could have broken that one out there to the left but instead I got a little bit of a uh, uh, bad animation I ran into the blocker there but it didn't really matter a couple plays later we're picking up a nice gain there to the tight end we're really efficiently moving the ball on offense I gotta admit other than that one interception that we threw uh, which was just a crazy bounce we've pretty much I think scored on every single time that we've had the ball so 28 to 10 my opponents definitely got to get some points on the board here and he is moving the ball again pretty effectively down the field throwing it into the flats here over and over again that's that's kind of what's open against the defense that I'm running here. I'm trying to bring heat off the edge with some linebackers and some cornerbacks. Uh, that's what I found to be most effective as far as blitzing guys. I don't know about you. And right there, he just dots me up over the middle. Nice, nice pass there. Third and goal here. Uh, but again, uh, yeah, I've, I've definitely had the best luck blitzing off of the edge with cornerbacks and fast linebackers. I don't know about you guys, but... Uh, that's definitely what's been working best for me with blitzes. And uh, fourth down there, we do knock it away, so we are going to take the W in this one. My opponent's going to rage quit here. Don't blame him. But I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay video. Again, I will be bringing you guys more gameplay here in the coming days and weeks, so be sure to drop a like on this one if you guys want to see more. And let me know in the comment section be below what else you guys want to see. Thanks again, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you guys again soon.